Hi hello and welcome, welcome back to another Uncloud video and welcome back to Crosscode. I've explored a bit more of Autumn's Rise and discovered something pretty fun. I hope I can show you again, but otherwise I'll just tell you about it. In the meantime, off camera, I also got a level which I used to get a guard combat art. I can show you right here. It knocks back enemies and it deals some damage as well. I didn't even know that yet. I haven't used it in combat so far. But that's pretty much all that there was to it so far for my off-camera playtime. I think this is the location. Let's see if we can trigger it again. Mm, I triggered it last time by killing all the hedgehogs in this area. So I guess I should try to do that again. Let's enter some combat. I will talk through the entirety of, you, of the combat to kind of inform you what the plans I still have left for this game. I think that right now this is like episode 6 probably I think. Yeah I think it's 6. And that means that we have been playing this game for quite a while already. Nothing too crazy but still there has been some content put out in this game so far. And as I talked about earlier I was not really sure what direction I wanted to take this series in and how long I wanted to make it. And by now I have decided I'm gonna keep it at possibly 10 but maximum of 15 episodes which is still quite a while away if i actually go for 15 and it's not that i don't enjoy the game anymore because if it was up to me i could literally play the entire game on my channel i just i'm really really loving the stuff that they are throwing at us but i just think that it's not the best fit to make a complete complete playthrough of this game out over here because i'm getting into diversity and into multiple different games at once well it doesn't seem like we can have the event trigger again either way down here in the bottom sonic actually spawned a blue hedgehog which was a boss fight and it was very interesting i hoped i could show you again on camera but sadly that is not the case let's just continue with our main quest and the quest we were currently working on was this legendary bunny quest for which I need to go to the Hexacast player in Rookie Harbor. So let's see if we can find him or her for that matter. The only other possibility in my book is that this game also becomes one of the games we use for unedited film videos at 3 in the afternoon. Which is still possible. It's still possible but I don't know how good of a fit an RPG is for that time slot either. And otherwise I will just probably continue to play it off camera. Is that the person we're needing? No probably not right. I would hope that there would be a little exclamation mark above the person we are actually looking for. We're looking for somebody to tell us about the legendary bunny. While we're here, why not look at the offers they have? What do we need for this level 17? We need headphone scraps and Azure, six Azure Dragonflies. Are you outside of your mind? The Ku Klux Klan? Are you outside of your mind? What about the boots? Level 17 boots. Oh, we only are one short and then we could actually buy these boots. Look at me trading up over here so that I can buy the spiky jacket. Awesome. Little gear upgrade. Never hurt nobody. I guess this is some kind of a very, very late game item or something. It's a random shop all the way over here in the back that sells the creation gem. Interesting. What's behind here? The northern part is still being constructed of the town. We need to wait for a future update. We are, of course, still in a game world. Where is this guy? Is he in the inn? Uh, this is the person we're looking for. I'm not even going to try to vo to voice act this guy, Jock, or J or this girl, Jock, because this is just incomprehensible. Je swatchlocht cheerful lassin. Je swatchlocht cheerful... Yeah, say I want to take in something about the legendary bunny eye. No, it's, it's no use. Absolutely no clue what that person just told me. But he did say that they were going to send over all the details over to Jean. So I guess I can just go back there after selling my old gear. So now let's head back over to Jean, who I believe is somewhere around here at the Bergen Trail, right? At the resting spot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there she is. That was the girl that was upright. I remember. We need five frosted carrots and a capture device. Alright, so I need to collect five frosted carrots and then I will meet this girl again. What else is there for us to go to do? Let's check out this path here at the top because we didn't last time we passed through this area. I've realized that when you look at the world map and you see this number next to the next to the next to the name of the place that actually implies that there are 29 of these little regions for me to explore still over here, I think. And if, by the way, you are like, hell no, don't discontinue this series already. I really, really love CrossCode. I'm invested in it. Please let me know. If the public still wants more, then I definitely want to create more as well. More! Jesus Christ, Aaron, fine. 
fuck! All right. <laughs> War! But otherwise, I will just explore the rest of this universe on my own, in my own tempo as well. Let's introduce a little bit of combat again, huh? We have been just walking around for way too long. I don't really remember how to fight all these guys, but I guess I'll just try my best. Let's use... Oh no, we don't have any special points left. Kill these ice dragonflies and then this blue bunny as well. Beautiful. Penguins. Like we're standing at the edge of the world. God damn, that's scary. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen that before. I wonder what that is. Is that just like a rare item or something? Can we even get there? That's a real question, of course. All right, we're getting somewhere. Whoa! Oh, we did it. We just had to go all the way up and then jump down a little bit. Now, what is this? Is this just like the symbol for a rare item or we need a key? It's like a chest. How the hell do I ever get a key? And what's this cave about? Oh, this is also new. Ice pillars. I don't know how we are going to get past those. I don't think we can. I guess this might be just be something for in the future then because I don't think we can get past the ice pillars. Oh, sad, but we did find the hidden cave though. That's cool. Oops. It is in one way also quite sad if we would already retire the series because I feel like we have not seen that much of the game at all. But I just need to keep my YouTube channel and its intentions in mind as well. Oh damn. There's some bunnies. Oh, we got all the ice we need for the ice cream. But then again, I'm talking about continuing it to episode 15 or something. So there is still, there are still a bunch of episodes to come then if I go up until that point. So you don't need to worry about the series ending yet. We still have some content to go together. Now we're really just in the sky. All right, but like, where the hell are we though? Because I feel like we are exploring, sure, but I don't think we are really on track for the main quests that we actually need to do. I also did not expect to see any green spots at this altitude, and it is indeed suspicious. What is this about? Maybe it's something in the... Uh... A hidden path? All right, now I'm getting really confused as to what is happening, but I am still vibing though can't seem to well i i think oh 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 i thought i had it no i think we need to progress further into the game and get to the part where elemental skills are actually becoming important and that is to melt those ice beams so i think that just for now we don't have any business around here although discovering the fact that there are actually um hidden pots if you land in certain locations that is interesting new information little snowman the snowman packs a punch. It deals a whole lot of damage, but it's not going to escape my grasp so easily. There we go. This time it went a lot better. What item is it guarding? A perforated top hat. What? Level up though. So much is happening in this episode, but not actually any progress story-wise or quest-wise. Here we go. A new landmark, a new waypoint. That means that we can go back to complete our ice quest. Or ice cream quest, rather. But yeah, a confusing level, little episode over here. I've been recording for 20 minutes, but I feel like we haven't really done anything. Still, I'm enjoying myself, though. Which is just an extra sign of how great this game can be. You don't even need to have active activities to actually enjoy yourself. All right, well, that was interesting. I just spent like 10 to 15 minutes clearing out some of the things on my computer because apparently my disk is too full to record any more footage. I need that computer upgrade. Please. Give me that computer upgrade, I beg you. Here he is. This is the guy I was looking for. I did bring you the Bergen Ice. Thank you very much. That's not that much XP, but at least we completed the quest. What's el what else do we have to do? Let's do this. This is the quest you got right at the start, but we never actually completed it. Visit the FDHQ southwest of the market. Northeast, southwest. So that should be somewhere down here. Elenia. Hey, a seeker. Nice meeting some valiant fresh blood around here. I would love to do some bonding with a fellow explorer, but right now there's a problem with one of our jobs. Tukos has just finished a detailed geographical survey that's supposed to serve as the basis for future expeditions, but then he had to get jumped by wildlife and lose the storage unit with all the data. That careless klutz. So, since you're here, could you help us with that? A seeker should be more than qualified for that kind of task. Absolutely. There we go. We found one of the other factions hideouts here near the marketplace so i guess it's not really a hideout because they're not actually hiding but it is part of our exploration quest and it also gave us another quest how do we get keys of course yeah that's a good hint at stamps to our map to actually remember where the where the chests are set step n chest ah, ah all right interesting all right so that's one down what else do we need to visit R H G H Q near the western exit. 
What do you guys have planned for today still? This is the western exit, right? For me personally, nothing much except for I need to go get my bike, as you all know, or as some of you probably know from watching other videos. When I went to go to my job interview last Friday, my bike broke down, my saddle just completely broke off and I need to pick it up again today. If the weather stays like this though, I'm not really looking forward to it. And this person gave us another quest. And here we go. Let's hand in our quest. Because we collect, we went over to all those factions. For now, these rewards are not worth anything to us anymore. But if we did them at the start of the game, like they actually told us to, ooh, we would have had some clean weaponry at our disposal from the start. If there is one piece of advice that you that I can give you about any RPG in the world, it's most of the time that questing, even though it can sometimes feel tedious and uh, not so fun it's most of the time the best way possible to quickly increase your rank or your gear or make yourself just better suited to complete things around the game a particular example that comes to mind for this is definitely old school runescape where quests in the early game are really the most important part of getting started oh there she is go and get that crook small park in the southeast we are looking for a thief Running to the small park in the southeast. Where is the small park? This guy looks suspicious. Shady Shorsh. <laughs> Damn. This guy really bamboozled us. Ah, here we are. Here we are. So this guy definitely saw him and he's looking. Is, isn't this him? Isn't this the guy right here? I'm presuming it means that he went over here. This bookcase is sparkling. Why is it sparkling? Unlock the log entry. A lot of things are happening again in this entire episode, and still I feel like we have almost gotten nowhere. Is that him? No, that's just a random player. Or is it? Or is I guess it is. Excuse me, Mr. Guardman. Did you see him leave the town? No, nothing to share. We're sure this is not just the guy, right? Because because I mean he is acting kind of sussy. Oh, 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 I saw you over there. How do I get to you? You have an exclamation point above your head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we are, here we are. Who are you, mister or miss? Oh dear. Mm, didn't your father tell you not to startle people? Well, we clearly should have. Kids these days don't know their manners. Oh, no, no, don't be sad, young lady. At least you look like you are actually sorry. I am sorry. Now that's better. This guy looks like a walking boppet machine. Mm -hmm. I think I like your attitude. Look, if you want to make a shot like me, why not help me out? Now, don't look at me all like that. It's not that at all. I want you to do is find me a broken gauntlet. I have the broken gauntlet already. I, I did this already. So I guess the an elite quest, I don't need to learn about elite quest because I have it already. So this is the thing I got from Sonic, I guess, from defeating the Sonic boss. The car, get in the car. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. We just completed our first elite quest by doing jack shit. Did you see where the thief was going, ma'am? Southwest to a dead-end alley by the sea. Once we have caught this thief, we're gonna have to call it an episode already, even though I feel like we've done jack shit, but I can't keep recording forever. There's a dead-end alley over here, it seems like. It's not like he's gonna be at the part where I just noticed the chest earlier, right? Let's go check it out to be sure, though. Because, I mean, that would mean that he would have kind of come through here, wouldn't it? What? I just got an exclamation point on top of my head. I don't know what that was all about. I mean, this is a dead-end alley, right? And is it considered to be by the sea, potentially? Hmm, you little bugger. Yeah, this guy is just gonna run away. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Look for him yet again. That's true. I feel like we could just throw a steel ball at him or use our guard. Maybe just, like, go stand next to him and, you know, blow his brains out up against the wall. Make a nice Banksy painting from it. No? Where did he go? Autumn's Rise, Autumn's Rise, Autumn's Rise. Somewhere in Autumn's Rise. I really, really want to find him. Because justice has to be done, you know? I am the long arm of the law. Did you see him pass by, for example? No, nope, doesn't seem like it. Autumn Rise is quite a big zone, though. So I hope that we can get some more clues as to his exact location. Begging the exact location of this crook through text. Oh, that was easy enough. <laughs> of course, he is sorry because he needs help now, this motherfucker. Easy enough. Two hedgehogs. You can't even defeat two hedgehogs. You're a bit of a poor bastard, huh? Don't run away this time. I'll kill you. He's not gonna turn himself in. Oh, there we go. The guard. All we do now is report back to the chief, to Sergeant Brassler. And then we will have completed that mission. It's quite a flavorful one, you know, chasing the little thief around, the little crook around the entire zone over here. I'm sorry that we are only now doing the introductory quests, but uh, I'm, uh, I got kind of sidetracked. <laughs>
There we go, easy enough. We're completing a hell of a lot of quests and we're completing a hell of a lot of episodes. A bit of a weird one, a bit of a non-linear one. We were just all around the place. I still enjoyed myself, hope you did too. If you want more than 10 or 15 episodes in this game, you really, really love it, please tell me. For now, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.